I'll be asking for another microphone, Miss Miss Christine. Go ahead and talk to her. Hi, Queen Number Three. Hi. Good morning. Good morning, Jack. Okay. You are beautiful. Thank you. Grabe. Parang lagi kang kinakabahan. Are you not expecting to be in the top five? Because I'm always called last, so the pressure, but also the excitement is on. So I hope I'll give the best tonight. Of course you will. I know that. So here's your question, judges. <laughs> Maliit ang pagkakasulat. Grabe. Sa matandang katulad ko. <laughs> As the present generation benefits from the advancement of technology, do you think books are still relevant? As the present generation benefits from the advancement of technology, do you think books are still relevant? We live in a modern technology I, we live in a modern era where technology is very rampant since it, it's already 2023. And personally, I can say that books are still relevant. Why? Because first, since we are living in the modern technology, there are technologies called e-books. When we say e-books, it's downloadable on our mobile phones or any gadgets. And one pro that we can get from it is that it's accessible anywhere we go. And also, books are still relevant because personally, we know that books are primary sources and there are two types of sources. And as a smart reader, we should always prioritize to only believe on the primary sources to know what's really behind those books. And personally, we can also, um, we can also get something from it. We can benefit from it since um, we live in an Asian country, we live in Southeast Asia, and there, there are a lot of users of technology, especially during this pandemic, that everyone here, and especially the students, are only using gadgets because they, can, they cannot have access to face-to-face -face glasses. So if it will be like Singapore, who is advanced on technology, then who knows? Maybe the Philippines could go back to the rising tiger of Asia that our country once used to be. Thank you. Thank you so much, Queen Number Three. Here is your question, Mikai. There is a saying, the best man for a job is a woman. If this is so, what is the best job for a woman? I repeat, there is a saying, the best man for a job is a woman if this is so what is the best job for a woman okay maraming salamat po sa inyong katanungan hayaan niyo akong sagutin ang inyong katanungan nang naaayon sa inyong opinion ngunit hayaan niyo akong sagutin ito nang naaayon sa aking opinion na nagmula pa ho sa aking puso isip at nararamdaman. Ano nga daw ho ba ang best job para sa mga babae? Ito ho ay ang pagiging ina. Bakit ka mo? Dahil kung hindi nyo ho maitatanong, kagaya ho ng sinabi ko kanina, hindi ko ho nakilala ang aking ama. Ngunit gayon paman din, pinagtaguyod ho mag-isa ng aking ina. Siya po ay nagsilbing ama at ina. At ako po ay narito sa inyong harapan. Matino, mabait at magalang at hindi ho naging dahilan ng pagkaroon ko ng kawala ng ama naging mabuting ina ang aking ina at lagi ho nating tatandaan na maging mapagmasalamat po tayo sa ating ina dahil 50% ho ng kanilang buhay ay inalay nila sa atin nung tayo ho ay nasa loob ng kanilang sinapupunan at sa kanilang pag-iriho ang kanilang kalahating katawan ay nakaalay sa lupa Lagi ho nating tatandaan, huwag ho nating kalimutang sabihin ang mahal kita, ina. Dahil ang salitang sasabihin ko sa aking huling hininga, aking ina, mahal kita. Thank you. Thank you so much. How would you respond to a five-year-old kid who asks you, why are you a woman? Alright. 
Thank you so much for a very mind-bubbling question coming from the very gorgeous for tonight's pageant. So what actually the... What can you respond? How can I respond to a five-year-old kid who asked me why I am a woman? Ladies and gentlemen, as I, ha as I mentioned earlier, that all of us here in our society are created by God. God created us. God has no negative comment by handling ourselves on the way we want. Only God wants is know our limitations in life, lessons learned in our mistakes, and obey His commands. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I should say to a five-year-old child that a transgender woman is a woman who can act and think like a woman and love like a woman. Like my mother was in the backstage supporting me from what I am today. Ladies and gentlemen, those three things is the most important thing that every human must experience. And that is the reason of our very, very own existence. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, candidate number 13. Grabe, pahirap ng pahirap. Napakaganda. Kung kanina si Lobby po, ito naman kamukha ni Banks Garcia. Thank you, Miss Christine Hermosa. Ay, grabe. Teacher question. Makaganda nito. Thank you. Here is your question. Is it is believed that change is the only constant or permanent thing in our world. How would you advocate for change in the society who refuses to acknowledge change? It is believed that change is the only constant or permanent thing in our world. How would you advocate for change in the society who refuses to acknowledge change? Okay, thank you very much for that very mind-boggling question. How would I advocate change to a society who refuse that change is inevitable? I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that each and every one of us experience change. And we all know that change is already there in the society and in our environment. And how will I advocate change to a society who refuse from it? Definitely, I would say that there is one God who is the leader of change. We society can never experience, uh, we society can always experience change. And through this change, we learn from it because of God. God has given us this change for us, our individuality to learn something from it. Therefore, let us not refuse change in the society or in, in this world because always remember that change is part of our living existence. Always remember that what, had gone, what had God has given you is a pure serenity of love, acceptance, and most especially change. Therefore, at this moment in time, let us always take this time to make our life more productive than anybody else so that change will always be responsible and change will always be beneficial for every individual because at the end of the day there is no power during the past with what you have given today for your own future thank you very much thank you so much candidate number 60 Parang gusto rito mag magsumagot ng tanong. Kaya lang wala. Mamaya ka na lang, ah. Iya. Parang sabi ni Iya, kaya kaya ko lahat. Kaya lang wala na. Abis na. Here is your question, Ms. Yen. How can you promote civil engagement? Oh, tita Koki. Among the members of the LGBTQIA plus community. Oh, nakakainlove itong question. How can you promote civil engagement among the members of the LGBTQIA plus community? Ladies and gentlemen, the question is very much close to my heart. 
as I am part of this community of the LGBTQ? Well, most people would state that it is indeed impossible for me to control every single individual, especially in my community, for the way they think, for the way that they should treat other people, especially gays, lesbians, transgenders. However, I always believe that nothing is impossible unless you say it is. I always believe that as a transgender teacher, I will be able to promote civil engagement among my members of the LGBT by simply being the role model, the epitome of how an LGBT member should and what they should be. I have always been part of this community. However, I never hated anyone. I never promoted hate even on social media, if you would check it. I have never discriminated any part of these people behind me. I have always loved them. And with that, the young generation of my LGBTQIA members will do the same. Because I always believe, ladies and gentlemen, yes, role models, they are romanticized. Palagi po natin naririnig. However, I always believe that if you are a role model, you should do it and be that role model and show the people na hindi mo lang sinasabi, bagus ginagawa mo bilang isang tao, na pinapakita mo sa kanila kung ano dapat ang pagiging isang bakla, na hindi ka dapat nagmamaliit, hindi mo dapat tinatapakan, bagus niyayakap mo ang isang komunidad. Let's always take in mind, ladies and gentlemen, and to those people of my community, hindi po natin matatakasan na iisa lang komunidad na yayakapin natin. Dahil pag meron tayong problema, Sino ang susulong at tutulong? We LGBT members will be that standpoint and will make the paradigm shift of the change that we want to see here, even in the Philippines. For I always believe, ladies and gentlemen, that if I, as a role model, would show a young child of how he should act as a gay, he would go home and affect one family. And one family would affect one other community. And one community can, inv can invade and change one country. And with that, I always believe that the change that I want to see here in my country, in my community of the LGBTQIA+, is not impossible. When that will be an amazing improvement of civil engagement. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Grabe! Queen Kendrick Number! Mr. Roxy! No ratio! Awarded by Kagawa Joseph and Leo. And in addition to their prizes, Miss Christine, all of our winners will be having an opportunity for a photo and video shoot courtesy of Creative Studio. Yes, that's for free, of course. Yes. Our next is our third runner-up to be awarded by... To be awarded by Mr. Marvin Cuyos, Mr. Mario Leva, and Mr. Ryan Crisologo. Yes. To receive sash bouquet of flowers crown gift certificate and ten thousand pesos gold cash and of course a gift certificate from mr porky fiber network the biggest and dc credit union worth one thousand pesos this is queen of queen third runner up is Queen Cadet number! Queen number 11! 11! HMU, Denise, and my team, maraming salamat po. Miss Christine, ikaw. Yes, of course. To Mommy Joey Polirente and Princess Rivera of JRM Princess Cotton Rentals. 
certificate amounting to 1,000 pesos courtesy of Fiverr Network, DC Credit Union, The Biggest, House of Unlimited, and Mr. Porky from the De La Cruz Group of Companies. Grabe, no? One old rose, one royal blue, and the second runner-up goes to queen number... Queen number... Queen Candidate number 17! So, dalawang green ang naiwan! Pero wag muna kayong magbubunyin, may twist! So we will now call the presenters for first runner-up and the Queen of Queens. We will be announcing the Queen of Queens 2023. And ladies and gentlemen, to present the awards to our first runner-up, may we invite Ms. Chaja Gabunal, Mr. Ryan Lud, and Ma'am Giselle Zapanta Andrade. Ma'am Giselle, the very beautiful, hi daw sabi ni Kagawa, the M-boy about Andrade. And to our Queen of Queens 2023, presenting the awards are Mr. Cookie Samson Nalog, Mr. Ryan Lund, and Ms. A.J. Madrigal. Again, we would like to remind everyone, we will be calling Queen of Queens 2023. Yes. In behalf of the city government of Antipolo, headed by Mayor Judy Nares, maraming maraming salamat for visiting Antipolo City. And of course, AJ Madrigal, our national director, thank you so much for having us. Yes. It was a very, very momentous event. Yes. All of the sponsors, maraming maraming salamat po for the generosity. SDI, the official tabulator. Of course, to the working staff and crew. That all the designers by uh, yes. right? To our board of judges. And all the antipolenias who are still with us this late. Maraming, maraming salamat. Ang naman na kaibigan si Asia ba to? Sabi ang daming mga ano dito ha? Mga Miss Q&A queens nandito si Yes. Maraming salamat po. They travel all the way from their home to Antipolo City. Yes, here we go. Queen of Queen 2023 is you, Queen number, Queen Candidate number, number 16. She will be receiving Congratulations! So we will be 
continue to search for Queen of Queens 2024.